are so happy to be here this evening and we just really want to welcome everyone present here on our Zoom platform and also those who have joined us live via YouTube. Welcome again to Ignite My Fire International Movement, the prayer and presentation segment. And right at this time to further um, invite the presence of the Lord in our midst, we're going to be asking the marshals to be ministering in song at this time in Jesus' name. God bless the marshals as they minister in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We just want to give God thanks for another day, another week that he has kept us. We can't take it for granted that, you know, we are here today. We can't take it for granted that we have life. We can't take it for granted at all. God is good. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, we have already come, and we are so grateful tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to return to the highest mountain.
Writer says, Hallelujah, anyhow. Never let your problems get you down when temptation comes your way. Just lift your head up high and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Bless the name of Jesus. Welcome again to everyone joining us to Ignite My Fire International Movement. And truly, we are so happy to be here this evening worshiping the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Bless the Lord. As we continue, we're going to be praying at this time for God to just continue to lead and to direct us in our session here this evening. And I am sure that, you know, even as you are gathered here, you came with an expectation that God is going to show up for you and that when you leave this platform tonight, you'll be leaving with a blessing. Hallelujah. And so right at this time, I'm going to be asking Sister Olive Graham to just do that opening prayer for us. And she will be followed by Evangelist Donna Arboyne with the reading of our evening's lesson. Sister Graham. I am sorry, I cannot be on the camera at this time. Sis. That's okay. Go ahead and pray. Okay. Merciful Father, God, we lift you up in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. We honor you, Lord. We glorify you. We magnify you. You are indeed awesome. Father, I want to thank you for this glorious opportunity 
of being in your presence on this platform. Father, we place everything into your hands this evening, dear God. We thank you for your people who have gathered to have heard and learned more about you, dear God. We pray, pray oh God, your blessings on um, Dr. McCarthy, the visionary for this platform, dear God. We pray that you continue to give her that vision, Lord, so that she'll be able to even add more and more to what she would have loved to do and what you would have had her doing. We pray, oh God, blessings on our minister and um, Bishop Garfield daily this evening, God, a man of God whom you have touched, whom you have um, ordained, God, to deliver your words. We pray in the name of Jesus this evening, dear God, that you will touch him from the crown of her, his head to the very soles of his feet. We pray your special anointing on him this evening, dear God, even as he answers prayer. Father, we pray, oh God, that the Holy Spirit just lead him so that he'll be able to, to have this discourse this evening. And God, we ask that the audience will be blessed, that we'll have years to year, we'll have the understanding, Lord, that God, what he will be delivering, God is something for us to hear. And Father, pray, oh God, that we not just hear it and let it stay where it is, but we will share with others. Father, we pray, oh God, that the Holy Ghost fire will just ignite this platform and this session tonight. And Father God, we just give you the glory and the honor and the praise that is due to you in Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Sister Olive Graham, for yes. that prayer. And at this time, Evangelist Donna Arboin will read for us. Bless the Lord, everyone. Bless God. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Our lesson will be taken from St. John, chapter 14, reading from verse 1 through to 12. Let not your heart be troubled. He believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there he may be also. And whether I go, he know, and the way he know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If he had known me, he should have known my Father also. And from henceforth he know him and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father, and how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the work. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Praise God. Here ended the reading of a portion of God's holy word. Thanks be to God. Bless the Lord. And we just give him thanks for his words to us tonight. Hallelujah. Words of hope that we can hang on to. And again, we just want to thank God for all that he has been doing in our lives. And truly, the Lord has been blessing in so, so many ways. And, uh, you know, we have a prayer line that's going and we have been having a number of persons sending on um, requests for prayers and God has been showing up. 
and we have been having a lot of victory reports coming into us. We pray and God certainly delivers. And so right at this time, I'm going to be asking Sister Claire Clark to just share with us a few of those victory testimonies that came as a result of requests that were made and God answering these prayers. So at this time, Sister Claire, could you just share some with us, please? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So praise God. God is good. Victory Report came in for a court case. The matter was brought to the attention of God, especially in the 9 a.m. prior to day. Praise the Lord. The victory report is that the case was cancelled with only a monetary obligation. God is a good God. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Prayer request came in by Sister Claudia Johnson for her aunt who had stage four cancer. We prayed. The rip, she went to the doctor. The report came back. There is no sign of Hallelujah. the cancer. Praise Thank the Lord, you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Is, Praise God. The same sister Claudia was in contact with somebody that had COVID and, you know, all of them was sent home. They did the test. Praise the Lord Jesus. It came back that she did not have the COVID, even though the exposure. Praise God. And this other one, I really find that God is working on this one. Praise the Lord. We had have only four requests coming in. And this one is about 14-year-old Evan Miller who did an 11-hour operation on his back, praise the Lord. His hemoglobin level is, um, and his blood pressure went pretty low, praise the Lord, with a high fever. We prayed, the report came back, is that the hemoglobin level is now normal. He still, the fever is broken. We still need to pray for him with regard to the blood pressure. But God is good. God is on the throne. He's doing his work. In this case, praise the Lord Jesus. I wanted to also say, we prayed over the what is happening in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. God has that under control. God has been sending rain. Praise God in the name of Jesus. So we continue to bear them up in prayer. God bless you. Back over to you, Doc. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Sister Claire. And, you know, there are many others that have been um, asking for prayer and God has certainly been showing up and showing off. That's the God that we have. I'm going to ask the, the, the marshals to just sing this, this song, this chorus, whatever it is at this time. We prayed and God delivered. I'm going to ask them to sing. And sing. <laughs>
Hallelujah. Glory to God. We prayed. We prayed and God delivered. Yes. God gave us one more chance. One more chance. And so we are excited about the fact that the God that we serve is not a God who just hears, but he does something about it. And a favorite verse that I normally like to, to, to make reference to from Isaiah 64, verse 24, it says, and it came to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. That's the kind of God we serve. He doesn't even wait for us to call before he starts doing something about the problem. Hallelujah, because the word of God says, even before we call on him, he already starts to answer. And by the time we actually voice it, then he hears us and he delivers. God is an amazing God. Is there somebody here this evening? You're excited about the Lord Jesus Christ. Can I just hear you just lift your hands and just give the Lord God of heaven some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just giving the Lord some praise right now. Hallelujah. allow for us to take some time out because you've heard about the victory reports coming in from other persons but i know you have your own testimony too and so we are going to do a prayer of thanksgiving right now Thank you, Lord Jesus. God of heaven. Hallelujah. Just thanking him for everything. The songwriter Jesus. says, when I think of the, of goodness, the goodness of Jesus. And all Hallelujah. that he has done for me, my soul oh, cries out. Hallelujah. Thank God Hallelujah. for saving me. Thank so you, we're going to just open our mics and we're just going to spend a few minutes. Just giving, doing a prayer of thanksgiving Thank to the you, Lord Jesus. for all Thank that you, he has Lord. done for us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. 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 Because you are worthy of the God, you are worthy of the Lord. You are 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 the Lord. Jesus, I Bills, 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 bills,
Lord, to call on your name each day. Lord, I love the Lord. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your way, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, mighty God. Hallelujah. Oh, Heavenly Father, your word is tonight, God. Yes, Jesus, your word Hallelujah. 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 And we thank you for your blood tonight. Thank you for your blood that just shed and calvary for all the mighty God. Hallelujah. We thank you for the cross. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, we appreciate you, God. We appreciate you, God. We appreciate you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Love you, Lord. We 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 appreciate you, God. We appreciate you, Jesus. We appreciate you, God. Bless God. Bless God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Thanks to Jesus. Hallelujah. And even as we continue in this attitude of prayer at this time, glory to God. Hallelujah. We're going to be asking, you know, we have our leaders. They are being faced with a number of challenges in these times. And even as we look on the political scenes, you know, there are lots of issues all over in countries all over that um our leaders are faced with hallelujah and in some instance they really don't even know which way to go which way to turn and so people are looking to them for guidance and direction I'm going to be asking, I think I see online here, Pastor Madge Murray. I'm going to be asking her to pray a prayer for the leaders of government. That God will just intervene in the affairs of man, as it were, and cause that his will be done so that his, his children, his people will not suffer. And people will basically be able to, you know, really be in a position where they can be guided in terms of the direction that the country and the countries are going. Right now, there's a crisis um, as it relates to the pandemic. And so many of our leaders really don't really know the answer. So I'm going to be asking Pastor Murray at this time if she could just Pray that prayer on behalf of the leaders of the various countries at this time. Pastor Murray. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Lord. God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. 
Father, tonight we give you thanks. We magnify you. We praise your name, Lord. We adore you. God, you are altogether lovely. You are altogether wonderful. And there is none like you. And Father, tonight, Lord Jesus, we just look to you, Lord, because we know, Lord Jesus, in you, we live, we move, and we have our being, mighty God. Father God, tonight, Lord, we just want to extend our faith to you, mighty Jesus. Oh, God, Lord Jesus, we know that you are the author and the finisher of our faith, mighty God. So tonight, Jesus, oh, God, as we come to you in this fashion one more time, God, we know that you are here with us. And you're here to hear us, mighty God, and to answer our prayers. God, we, we hear tonight of the, the many victory reports, mighty God. Lord Jesus, it's a, it shows us, it tells us, it reminds us, God, that you are still on our side, mighty God. Lord Jesus, that you still stand on your word and you'll never change, that you'll never leave us nor forsake us, that you will be with us even to the end of the ages mighty god tonight lord jesus we will just want to thank you god for this forum where we can come one more time time mighty God to look to you Lord Jesus to send up the praises unto you because you said in your word when the praises oh come up then the blessing will we'll go down oh God so tonight Lord Jesus oh God we just want to thank you oh God tonight we thank you Lord Jesus oh God for your grace and your mercy towards us oh God we place before you in a special way tonight oh God as you are moving among us Lord Jesus oh God Lord you want us to pray especially tonight for our leaders oh God the ones who you have placed oh Oh God, in, in charge of this country, mighty God, Lord Jesus. Oh God, Lord, we place before you our prime minister. Oh God, in a special way, mighty Jesus. Oh God, opposition leaders in a special way. Oh God, all the ministers, oh God, in the government. Oh God, fraternity, mighty God, Lord, we place them into your hands at this time. So many things are happening, God. Oh Jesus, Lord, they are so confused, mighty God. We can see it, Lord. Oh Oh, God, that only you, Lord Jesus, oh, God, that it needs your intervention at this time, mighty God, even with this pandemic that is going on, mighty God, and even with the distribution of the, the, the vaccine, mighty Jesus, oh, God, we're hearing so many things, Lord Jesus, so many voices, oh, God, but we pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh, God, that you may, oh, God, speak to our leaders, mighty God, Lord, many of them have not even come to know you as, as Lord and Savior, oh, Oh God, Lord Jesus, tonight we pray, God, Lord God, that they may seek to know you. Oh God, turn their lives over to you, mighty Jesus. Oh God, they can only be effective leaders, mighty God, if they allow you to lead them and if they allow allow you lord jesus oh god to be a part of all the planning oh god that they are doing oh god mighty god we pray tonight in a special way oh god that when they meet lord jesus in god knows upper house and lower house mighty god that they will invite your presence in their midst mighty jesus and ask for your guidance mighty yes, lord god. yes lord Oh God, Lord Jesus, that when they put plans in place, oh God, that we as your people, mighty Jesus, will be led in the right direction. Oh yes. God. Lord Jesus, right now, God, we pray, Lord Jesus, that you will intervene, mighty God. We pray, Lord Jesus, that all those plans that have been put in place that are not of you, we know, God, that you have the power to demolish, mighty God, and to rearrange and to fix, mighty Jesus. Oh, God, that in the end, your people, mighty Jesus, will not be led astray, mighty God, tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, we pray in a special way, God, Lord Jesus, that we as your people, mighty God, will not stop from interceding. Oh God, they need, Lord Jesus, your prayers, mighty God. Lord Jesus, oh God, sometimes when we pray, we forget them, mighty God. We forget that we need to put them before you, Lord Jesus. Oh God, as they are there to lead us and we have we should be obedient mighty god to whatever yeah. Put forward, oh God. But we want to be you, your people, mighty God, Lord Jesus, who do the right, oh God, at all times, Jesus. Oh God, Lord Jesus, even with this pandemic, oh God, where they are placed, oh God, shutdowns, oh God, whenever we should go out and whenever we should go in, oh Jesus. God, and even so, God, we still see where, Lord Jesus, oh God, the death rate is still high. Oh God, the testing. Oh God, of those who are uh, who are positive is still high. Oh God, but Jesus, we put this before you in a special way, God. Lord Jesus, we know, Lord Jesus, that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly far more than we can ask or even think. Oh mighty God, Lord, there is nothing impossible with you, mighty Jesus. You are a God of the impossible. Oh, Oh God, and you are still concerned, oh, with the affairs of men. Oh, Jesus, so tonight, Lord, without a doubt, in the name of Jesus, we come in togetherness and in one accord. Oh, God, and we are reaching out to you, mighty God, because we know, Lord Jesus, oh, God, that you are still, Lord Jesus, the King of kings and Lord Hallelujah. of kings. God, Lord Jesus, and you will never give up. Hallelujah. Oh, God, and your people, we are going to stand firm on your word as we place our leaders, mighty God, not even only in Jamaica, oh, God, but worldwide, mighty God. Many have, 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 no, have no heart, oh, God, or even thinking about you, mighty God. We cannot be good leaders, oh, God, unless we have you in our corner, mighty God. Lord Jesus, tonight, Lord, we pray that you may speak to our leaders mighty yes, God yes. Have a change of heart a change of thinking mighty yes. God Lord yes, Jesus Lord. I know that we can do nothing without you oh Hallelujah. God you, Lord Jesus will be in a state of confusion oh God without you Lord Jesus oh God we will be forever disturbed mighty yes. God but right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth mighty God Lord tonight you want us to pray especially for our leaders oh God because you're sitting there and you're waiting mighty Jesus for, for us to move you say faith without works is dead mighty God yes. so as we extend our faith mighty Jesus we pray God that our leaders will turn mighty God and seek your face mighty Jesus in humbleness of heart mighty God Lord Jesus and you said in your word mighty Jesus if your people who are called by your name we will just humble ourselves hallelujah oh Jesus and seek your face mighty God and you will hear from heaven and you will heal our land mighty yes, God Lord. heal our land mighty Jesus we are relying on you God Lord Jesus many of us are in a state of confusion oh God, God. We don't even know whether we should take the vaccine yes or no <laughs> mighty God Jesus, Jesus, Lord Jesus, Jesus we pray that you intervene Oh God, speak to us, Lord. Hallelujah. Individually and collectively. Jesus, Lord Jesus. Jesus, help us to know that we are on the right path. Mighty yes. Jesus. Because we know that you will not lead your people in a path of destruction. Oh God. Zion, have your way at this time. You say that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Help Jesus, us, Lord Jesus. Jesus, oh, dwell in your secret place, mighty yes, Lord. And help us, mighty Jesus, not to be complacent and forget, mighty Jesus, that we need to place our nation into your God, hands, God. mighty oh, God. God. And have your way, Jesus. God, tonight we know, Jesus, that you have heard our prayers, mighty yes. God, like yes, other Lord. times, Jesus. And you are, Hallelujah. mighty God. It's our faith 
that move you right now, God. Lord, if there's any Dota on this line that you are working things out for this nation, God, we pray that you may give that such an individual a change of mind, a yes. change of thoughts, mighty Jesus, because you are still totally and completely in control. Have yes, way God. Of Lord Jesus, whatever yes, we feel to ask of you, have a father. It will stand up. Yes. Uh, feel not to grant unto us, mighty God. Lord Jesus, as we commit and we leave everything into your hands, mighty God, Lord Jesus, and we know, God, that you're going to speak to our leaders, mighty God, in a way that they will hear your voice. Hallelujah. And follow suit according to your will and according to your way. Have your way at this time. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we give you praise Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank Jesus. you. Thank you, Jesus. We yes, leave it Lord. To yes, Lord. Your thanks. In Bless Jesus' God. name. Glory to Thank God. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. And we just cover that prayer with the blood of Jesus at this time. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. And so when men sometimes are at their wits end corner, not knowing what to do, where to go, where to turn, we are so thankful that we can look to our King, our King Jesus. And like that songwriter, he says, ride on, King Jesus. No man cannot hinder you. Right at this time, the marshals will bless us again in song in Jesus' name. The marshals. Hallelujah. Blessed Jesus. Jesus, no man, no woman, no boy, no girl, no one cannot hinder thee. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so tonight we're having, um, our speaker is having a little challenge and hence um, we're doing some of our prayers up front at this time. Um, we just want to pray that the Lord will just work through those challenges because I know that we have a lot in store that um, he, he would have been sharing with us. And so we're just going to be praying that God will just intervene and just help that, you know, um, things will work, work itself out. Bless the name of Jesus. Um, I think I saw Evangelist Martha Thomas earlier in the room. Is she still here, Evangelist Thomas? Evangelist Martha Thomas. I think I saw her here earlier. 
I'm not seeing her ever. Okay. Um, she was on, but perhaps uh, her, her line got disconnected. Bless the name of Jesus. We are going to continue in prayer at this time. I'm going to be asking Sister Rodney. Sister Rodney, are you able to pray at this time for us? Just going to ask you to, to um, do a prayer on behalf of um, the challenges that we're having, the speaker. Sister Rodney. You're muted. Sister Rodney. All right, she's muted. Um, she's not she's not picking up. All right, I'm gonna be, be, be calling back um Sister Arboyne, Sister Donna Arboyne at this time to just pray a prayer for us at this time, um, um, to pray a special prayer for our speaker um, who is having some challenges right now. Sister Donna, can you just do a prayer for us at this time? Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Eternal God, our Savior and friends. Lord, as we come in your holy presence this evening, we thank you for your love, we thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your grace. God, as we are standing in your midst, Lord, we thank you for all you have given unto us. Jesus, you see and you know everything about us this evening. Lord, you see and know the challenges, hallelujah, that Bishop Bailey is faced with as it concerns his network. Lord, we just wanted to have mercy, Lord God. Reach out and touch in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God, I know that there is nothing that is impossible with you, irrespective of what it is. Oh God, we are depending on you now, Lord Jesus, just to intervene, my God. Oh God, because we know that sometimes this is the works of the devil to keep us, Lord God, from progressing, to keep us from hearing the word of God. But we know, Lord God, with you, God, all things are possible. Lord, we know, Jesus, that you have everything under control. Lord God, nothing takes you by surprise. Even what is happening now, Jesus, you knew. Hallelujah, all about it before it happens. Lord God, we are depending on you, Lord God, for your resolution to this issue. Lord God, you just continue to cover. Oh God, that when he gets here, by God, our questions will be answered. God, you just functionize and bless him, God. Preparing my God for this evening's Lord God proceedings. Lord, you take him right now in full control. Lord God, and you remove the challenges that he's faced with right now. Lord, bless each and every one on this platform, God. Oh God, our hearts. Lord God, receive your word with gladness. Oh, thank you, Jesus, that we will glorify your name. That you will honor your name, God. Help us, Jesus, that even those of us that are here will not experience any challenge as it concerns the network. But God will be able to hear your word. Hallelujah. So that we can apply them to our lives. Oh, that we might not sin against you. Lord, bless us tonight. Bless us, Jesus, while we say thanks. In your name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And you know, when God is about to do something great, then the enemy always seeks to come in. But we are not defeated. Amen? We are not defeated. And so we are going to be really experiencing God's presence with us in, 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 um, on tonight. And we are going to give him the praise. We're going to give him the glory. We're going to give him the honor. Bless the name of Jesus. Um, we have been having these series of studies uh, um, looking at the rapture and end time events for um, since, since we started it in February. And, you know, we have been blessed tremendously by the information that has been shared by Bishop Daly. And we are so thankful that, you know, he has availed himself. And then tonight um, we were supposed to be 
having the question and answer session going and you know we are having some challenges but nevertheless it is going to be happening it is going to be happening just also want to let you know that we're going to be um having a little break with that series and uh, we're going to be coming back um in, in a few weeks time to look at the white throne the judgment seat of god and the white throne judgment so those are two interesting judgments that we all need to know about one pertains to the saints of god and the other for those who will be lost so we need to know as much as we can so that we can prepare ourselves as best as we can with the help of the lord jesus christ um we have a few of our pastors online tonight i'm just gonna be maybe just asking one or two um to just um greet and maybe share a word with us we always have with us um pastor baptiste coming out of the island of saint lucia so i'm gonna be asking him if he just wants to just share um a little with us um tonight bless the lord bless the lord Pastor Baptiste. Praise him, praise him. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Yeah, God is good. All the time. Our God is good. I greet you all from the island of St. Lucia. And again, I'm very happy to be here. And love hearing the Marshall sing. I'm looking forward to hear about the rapture, and I know I've invited most of my pastors in St. Lucia and throughout the world that they can join us tonight. So I hope they're actually there under the sound of my voice tonight. So uh, I, I know anytime we have this, there's always this interruption, but sometimes, like I said, we have to have the Lord to take over the airways, the atmosphere, the stratosphere, the atmosphere, and even the internet. We just have to take control of it because his arm is not shot that he kind of save, neither is it blind, or is it, uh, neither is it deaf. So, um, sorry, I'm not able to show my video. <laughs> my video That's, I understand your situation, <laughs> yeah, I'd explain, yes. yeah. yeah. But I'm always happy to be on board. And, um, let's keep up the good work. Uh, we know we know the the enemy not going to allow us to take over his territory if we don't know how to fight. Uh, and we can't shout at victory unless we know how to fight. So we are looking to continue a good fight of faith because um, there are people out there who really need to hear the gospel. And um, as, as uh, John chapter eight forty two, I believe, says, "We shall know the truth, and the truth shall set us free." So we should not keep the truth to ourselves we, we, and we're doing a great thing by reaching out to the world by telling the truth because the reason why a lot of people are still bound a lot of people are still deaf out there a lot of people are diseased and what is because they don't know the truth and we just have to believe the word and if, if as god has kept this covenant he said if we can hearken unto his voice and walk in his statutes and his ordinances and his precepts then all the blessings are for us and not one shall be left sick because everyone that Jesus came across the earth, he healed them. And Talus now visited in the heavens of heaven. So God bless you. I hope I've encouraged somebody here tonight. <laughs> and yeah. I did reach where you want me to be. So God bless. I'm, I'm in there praying for you guys. So. And we send all our blessings from St. Lucia. Thank you so much. God bless you too. And all those that you have invited you know, we trust that their heart will also be blessed. Hallelujah, in a special way. I think we also have um, Pastor Peter um, online. I'm going to ask her to, to just give her a greeting and maybe share a word at this time. Pastor Peter? Greetings in the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. It's a wonderful thing to be sharing again. Of course, we continue to enjoy the great teaching that the Lord has been blessing us with through servant. And we want to give God thanks for another privilege 
to be in this prayer session. Uh, and also, we are blessed by the ministry of the marshals. We want to thank you, Dr. McCarthy, for opening up this platform that so many of us can be blessed and touched and inspired as the Lord continues to move with us through prayer or teaching of the word. I, like others, I'm looking forward to hear what Bishop has to say tonight as the Lord leads. We understand he's having challenges, but so far, thanks be to God, we are still enjoying the presence of the Lord, be it on the Zoom platform. Mm -hmm. Let me just use this opportunity to say to all of us that the end of all things is at hand. And as we continue to enjoy the end time teaching, let us look up for our redemption, Jordan. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Eric, thank you so much, um, Pastor Peter. Um, earlier, the marshals were singing, Redemption cometh, praise the Lord. Amen. You know, and this is something that we are anticipating the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, we can't imagine what it will be like. The songwriter says, what will it be when we Indeed. get over yonder? You Amen. know, and it, 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 it blows your mind sometimes just to think what it is like that God has gone to prepare for us. Wow. Mansion, you know, what will my mansion look like? What will yours look like? Glory to God. Hallelujah. And above this everything else, above everything else, we will be with him forever. Glory to Amen. God. Glory to God. It is worth the while just really living for God and serving him to the end. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm going to Amen. do something that I've never done before. I'm going to ask maybe one or two persons to just share with us, especially if you have been... Um, a part of the teachings for over the past couple of, well, as I said, we started in February and we're now in April. And I'm just going to give maybe one or two persons the opportunity just to briefly share what it has meant to you, what you have learned, what it has done to you, because, you know, it is good for the teachings to be made, but, you know, what's the impact that, that that's happening in the lives of those who have heard so i'm going to open it i'm not going to call anybody specifically at this time but just um be brief so that we can um have maybe one or two other persons sharing so who will go just open your mic and you can just share praise them can identify yourself too you know what Okay, yes. Yes, I learn a lot because some of the things, um, but I used to shy to, to give testimony, I used to shy to read, I used to shy to exhort, but since I'm on this program, I learn a lot and I go forward with my prayer because I don't used to pray often as much. I pray in the morning, I pray in the and in the night. But now since I'm joining this program, I go more forward. And I say more, more. You pray more, you say more because lots of things is happening and I'm in my spiritual eyes. I'm seeing things and I'm hearing things. And God has so blessed me so far. Far, far, far. And I give thanks for this meeting what you have now going on and I don't mind if you could continue for the rest of this time in this season this corona season it scared me a lot I don't have to sit down and worry about anything because the others are too busy I do my own business we want to come on the three o'clock the twelve o'clock but I will just try and make it like yesterday and so Oh, my phone, I just want to come and yes, we come on our six o'clock. Yesterday, when I hear somebody say, No, 12 o'clock, not six o'clock. And I have to just be laughing and say, Okay, because I learn a lot. 
for real, I learn a lot. And I will to continue. Just continue. And I'll be there because I send other friends on it and I tell them about it. And there were yeah. those who say, yeah. We say, yeah, man. Because my life was one. Because whenever you start praying, you just start to pray. My prayer, when I pray at 12 o'clock, I come love 12, 12 o'clock shift. Because all the time the demons just fly and I go around and I go on with them things. When you can just pray, a light thing come making go through your door and your gate and you now come to your door, you have to stay out them and we just stay far when they Bless hear the Lord. One night here, if I give you this testimony, oh gosh, I don't remember which one at night. I think a last night or night before, I was on the line and I was a Saturday, I think a Saturday night, mm -hmm. and I was on the line and after I was talking to my sister and I was praying after three, something like that, or before. And she said to me, say, you're going on the line now. I said, yeah, man, that now is me, man. But I'm not coming to a split. It's a, it is going to the end. And I said, okay, I'm going to listen to the last half. And he said, we pray, I'm going to pray. You believe me, say. I when it, when it's over, I'm still in my bed. I was still in that thing. I sang me a thing. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Yes. 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 Thanks. I'm pray again. I'm going to start praying. Then me, see, you know, when somebody come for him, I'm vexed on the part. <laughs> we said, bless the, the Lord, bless the Lord. You're not supposed yes, to be in here. Yes, it's so wise. All right. It was good. It was good. Yes, yes please, bless, bless the me. Lord. We have to cut it here now so that we can maybe give somebody else an opportunity. But thanks for sharing. All right. The next person who's gonna share, though, I want to hear you say something specifically about the the, the um the teachings that we have been having. You know, um, something that came home to you out of what was said. A lot of things were said, but tell me something that was said out of the teachings from 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 Bishop Daly that really left an impression on you. Somebody else, please. Go ahead, go ahead, as it relates to the teaching. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Evangelist Kelly from Canada. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Um, I have been listening to teaching for a couple of weeks and now, and this one word, it really leave an impact on me. The word motive. God sees our motive. Whether in church or whatever we're doing. And that day, and that day when he's going to um, that, that day of um, inspection. Yeah. Our motive is going to come up right in front of us yeah. and we cannot deny it because he knows all things. That word leave an impact on me. Yeah. And I am working on myself because sometimes we look on the, the fornication, the adultery, the lie, you name it. But sometimes we go in church and we sit there clapping and you name it, but behind that clapping, yes. there is a motive. God bless you. I am learning and this teaching caused me to be changing some things around me and in me. And I'm glad and happy for this teaching. God bless you, Dr. McCarty. Continue to do the good work. God bless um, um, Bishop um, uh, Bishop Daly. Daly. Yes, mm -hmm. as he continue to teach the word of God. I'm telling you, he is so full up. I look forward for it every Monday night. God bless you in Jesus' bless name. You. I love it. Thank yes, thank you. Thank you. And that is so important, you know, because as we gather around, that throne to give an account for the things that we we have done and the things that we did not do, then you know we really need to, as it were, 
pull up our socks right now and those things that we need to do that the Lord is impressing on us to do, let us do them so that when we stand before him, you know, he will not have to be asking us to give an account. It's like the, the parable of the talents. The master gave one to one. He gave two to another and he gave um, another one um, five. And each of them, he left them with it, but he returned and they had to give an account for what they got. So it's the same thing. That parable of the talent is an illustration that the Lord is using as it relates to us. He has given to each of us talent or talents. And the important thing is not the amount of talent or, um, that, you, that you have, but is what you do with it. That is what counts at the end of the day when the master will come back to ask, what did you do with what I gave to you? All right, I'm just going to allow one other person to share at this time. One other person, just one other person. Come on, students. You sat in the teacher's class. Come on. <laughs> and you all text me and tell me afterward how blessed you were. Let's share now. One other person. One other person. Just one other person, just share. My, praise the good? Lord, praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. I, I Lily Stevens, I attended just two of the sessions. Yes. But what impressed me was this sentence that he said, the rewards we get will be given based on Jesus's assessment of us. Not what we think we deserve, but what but Jesus is assessment. And because Jesus is fair and he is not partial, we will get a just reward. So looking at it from that night, I am saying, Lord, help me to do just what you want me to do, not what I think I am to do. And whatever I do, Lord, I want you to direct me so that you will be glorified and not me. That's the end, the please. Yes, thank you so much, Sister Stevens. God bless you. God bless you. And at this time, I'm going to ask the marshals to sing again for us in Jesus' name. And I'll do a quick check to see what's happening with our speaker. So at this time, the marshals, can you just come in again and bless our hearts in Jesus' name? Oh, mm -hmm. 
very soon with joy we welcome his return it's baby boy it's baby night or noon i know he's coming soon oh he's coming soon he's coming back You're muted. On mute. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we are able to look at it from the standpoint to say that um, it can be at any time, whether it's morning, night, or noon, because right now it's it's night, um, late evening here, but for some persons, they are already experiencing the breaking of the day. Some already have gone farther in the day. And so we really, really um, can't determine what time it will be for us. For some of us, it will be morning. For some others, it will be night. For some persons, it's noon. But for one thing for sure is that we know that he is coming soon. Bless the name of Jesus. And tonight I am seeing some friends here some I'm recognizing, some I'm not recognizing because of the naming. I'm seeing Elder Segree, Elder Segree. God bless you, sir. Elder Segree. Yeah, God bless you, ma'am. Bless you. And I'm going to ask you to just greet and maybe share a word with us at this time. 
So happy um, to have you with us. Bless you. I, I don't think I'm, I'm really, uh, I just came on to listen because, you know, I'm in quarantine with COVID. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You can just give us a brief greeting. Just a brief greeting. I greet you. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. And, um, I I love what I'm hearing so far. God is amazing. And yes. the next time I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I tune in. Yes. I tune into your to your the wonderful program. Praise God. Because I do get a lot of support on Sunday nights on the testimony service from Jamaica as well. Praise mm -hmm. God. So I'm gonna make sure I tune in on the, on the Monday night and give you support amazing job you're doing dr mccarthy thank you so much thank god bless you, so you. keep much. up the good work in yes Jesus god name. bless you god bless you and i think i saw minister bromley coming into the room am i right or am i right mm -hmm. minister bromley did i see you coming I, I, I can't hide. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Can you just greet us too? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Greetings. Uh, uh, I can share a, a little word too if you so desire. Oh my God. We're having some challenges um, as we speak, but we're working through it. So you can greet and share a little word. Yes. Go ahead. Praise the Lord Jesus. I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus, our soon and coming King. Indeed, it's a pleasure yes. to come back to the platform. Praise God. I want to greet to my big brother there, Elder or Orville Segree. God bless you, man of God. And all the saints uh, in Ignite My Fire. I'm going to tell you guys, there is none like him. There is none that compared to him. Praise God. He is the CEO of the universe. Uh, he is the president of the galaxy. He is the divine architect of the planets. They describe him of omnipresence. He's everywhere. You cannot hide from him. You can turn off the light and he's still there. Praise God. You go on if your bed, he's still there. Praise God Almighty. Anything that you do, that God is always there in, his, in your there. Uh, because I come to tell you, he is good. He knows the end from the beginning. He is the beginning from the end. He does not make up your life when you wake up every day. He already knows what he, what's going to happen. Praise God. Uh, they call him, praise God, in Hebrew. He's Jehovah Shammah. He's there and he's everywhere. Praise God. I just want to give you a quick testimony. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why I can praise God today because my mother was called. Uh, uh, she was, you know, I went to her house the other day and um, it was on Thursday, praise the Lord. And I looked at her foot. And when I looked at her foot, praise God, I said, mommy, your foot is swollen. It seems like you're having a, a, a congestive heart failure because, you know, I'm in the medical fraternity. And I said, mommy, you're having, uh, um, you know, uh, like something's wrong with the heart. And I made an appointment to the doctors and the doctors, uh, um, you know, told me I have to bring her the next day. My mother went to bed that night, praise God Almighty. This is how yes. powerful we serve a God. And she went to bed that night and five o'clock in the morning. Um, she was trying to get a hold of me and I did not answer the phone because I didn't have the cell phone with me. And uh, the next morning I woke up, I found that my mother was in the hospital. Uh, my God Almighty, my stomach was like turning. I was grieved with the Holy Spirit. And what happened, saying, to God, I rushed to the hospital and my mother was there in the in the in the emergency room. Uh, they're saying that you know they don't know what's wrong with her in all these tests. But anyway, she went upstairs into the room. And when she went up to the room, I put her on the prayer line. And you guys, a lot of you guys are on the same prayer line I'm on. And I it was thousands of prayers went out. And I'm gonna tell you yeah. something. When I went to the hospital, I prayed with my mother, hold that feet in the name of Jesus Christ. And I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over her. And I left her the next day, I called her, I said, Mom, what's going on? They said that the doctors can't find nothing wrong with her. And the swelling went down when I left out of the Thank hospital. God. This is how powerful my yes. God, yes. God I, is. I don't know yes. about you tonight. I would be giving God the glory because that's hmm. what I can. My mother's 85 and my yes. God, she walked out of the hospital. How many 85 year old women go into the hospital today and cannot walk out of the hospital? This is how powerful my yes. God is. Praise my amen, strength. Amen. Bless in God. Jesus name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bless Almighty. the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless amen. the Lord. As the song says, there is power, power in the blood of Wonder Jesus, working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, Wonder Wonder working, working power. power. Hallelujah! In the, in the precious blood of the Lamb. 
I don't know if there's somebody here online tonight who might have some illness. I am saying to you tonight, there is power in the blood. And when that blood is applied, hallelujah, then you are going to see the results if you only believe, if you only believe. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Um, still no news yet as it relates to our, our um, presenter. But we are going to still give God thanks because even as we think about the rapture and the end time, my mind takes me back to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, passage that we often make reference to. And it says, behold, I show you a mystery. Your mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, that's how quick it will be. In a moment, moment. in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trump yeah. shall sound yeah. and the dead shall mute, 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 please. For the trump of God shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality now listen to the word must put on not maybe you know when that trump sound and all the changes are taking place hallelujah we are told that this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality so we're not going to die again so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory and then we will look at death hallelujah Right now, a lot of persons are grieving because they are losing loved ones. But there's coming a time. There is coming a day when we are going to ask some questions of death. And we are going to say, oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. Hallelujah. And the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Which giveth the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren. Therefore, my brothers and sisters on this platform tonight. I am saying to you. Be ye steadfast. Unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. For of such as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. This is the consolation tonight. That we should be steadfast. No matter what is happening on the outside. We are not going to be swayed to the right or to the left. But we are going to be steadfast. We are going to be unmovable. It means that no matter what boulder the enemy will be sending in our direction. is as if when it hits us, we just bounce back and come back again. Hallelujah. Because we are unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. And so I'm saying to us tonight, let us become rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because if we become rooted and grounded in him, then we are sure that when the trump of God shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise, if we die, that is why the Apostle Paul says, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. So whichever way you take it is a gain for me. It's a plus for me. And so I'm saying we should so live that if we die, when the trump sound we will hear. Or if we are alive, we are remaining 
so that we can be caught up to meet the Lord Jesus Christ in the air. This is our hope tonight. This is our hope. A hope that maketh not ashamed. A hope that we can stand upon. And this is a hope that the enemy wants to cause us to start doubting the ability of God to keep us even in a time as this. <coughs> but we are going to hold on. We are going to be steadfast. Unmovable. Abounding in the grace of Jesus Christ. We have come too far. Come too far. We can't turn. Jesus. We are too near our heavenly home. We cannot turn back now. The songwriter says, then forward still. It's Jehovah's will. Though the billows dash and spray with a conquering tread, we're going to push ahead and we're going to roll the sea away. What are the obstacles tonight in your way? What are the things that's trying to dissuade you from going on with God? Push past them tonight. Push past them tonight. Become resolute. Mm -hmm. Become determined. Let there be an indomitable spirit within you which says, comes what may. Take the stance of Esther tonight. If I perish, I perish. But I must see the king. Take the stance of Ruth tonight. Don't be persuaded to turn back. You have come too far. Hallelujah. And so like Ruth, I want for you to say, entreat me not to leave thee or to return from falling after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people and thy God, my God. Let us be resolute tonight. Let us be determined tonight that comes what may, I have to make it in. Eternity is too long. To be wrong. Mm -hmm. Eternity is too long to be wrong. Eternity is too long to be wrong. None of us can afford to miss that trumpet sound. None of us can afford to be on the other side of the fence when the Lord comes to take his children home. And so I'm encouraging all of us tonight. Hallelujah. Maybe this was what the Lord maybe wanted for us to be reminded of. How near his coming is. And how much we need to prepare our hearts and our minds, our body, our soul, our spirit to be ready for his coming. And while we are getting ready to leave this world, let us take on the posture of those children of Israel when they were in Egypt, preparing to make their exit. God gave them commandment, what to do just before leaving. So they had their bags packed and it was on their shoulder. And in the other hand, they had the Passover that they were eating in haste. And what I'm saying to us, the time clock is striking the hour. It's almost midnight. We don't have much time left. Hallelujah. And it was recently we were in an evangelistic seminar with Minister Bromley. And he made the shocking news that a survey was done in the United States. 95% of the people who call themselves Christians who go to church never ever share the good news of salvation 
with mm -hmm. somebody else. 95%. And so if you are in that 95% no, meaning you know that you have not been sharing the word of God, I am saying to you, take on the posture of the children of Israel. While you are getting ready to make your exit out of Egypt, which is this world, I want for us to start to evangelize. Evangelize in your household. Hallelujah, that unsaved husband or that unsaved wife, those unsaved children. Start to evangelize your neighbor next door, those in the community, those on the job, those in the marketplace, those on the bus, wherever you meet people. The Lord is depending on us. He said we should go in all the world and teach them about the good news of salvation. You know and so as we stand before the judgment really. of God, uh, he's really. going to ask us, uh, how many souls uh, did you win uh, for me? Uh, hallelujah. One songwriter picked it up and he says, will there be any stars? any stars in my crown when at eve the sun goeth down when i'm laid in my rest in that mansion of bliss will there be any stars in my crown how many persons have we spoken to have we told about the good news of salvation how many tonight i'm saying to you we cannot afford for our relatives to be left behind. We cannot afford for our friends to be left behind. We cannot afford for our neighbors to be left behind. We can only share the word. But the rest is left up to God along with them. So all that he wants for us to do is tell. Go tell. Go tell. And once you have told the word of God to as many persons as you would have come in contact with, then now they will be the one who will have to give an account for the word. The Bible says, if the watchman see the sword and don't warn the people, then the blood of that nation, those people, will be upon that watchman. But if he tells them, then their blood will be upon their own shoulders. Tonight, I just want to encourage all of us as I encourage myself, because I'm looking at myself also. There is much more that needs to be done. There is so many other persons to be reached for the kingdom of God. Some months ago when we did one of the prayer conferences and we were told that in Asia, I think 70% of those persons still have not yet heard the word of God. It means that we have our work cut out for us. We can't sleep as it were because if the time span is so short for the coming of the Lord, and there are so many other persons to be reached, then it means that we need to move even with greater urgency. So I implore all of us tonight, including me, let us get out on the battlefield for the Lord. In these days, we might have innovative ways of getting out there via Zoom or some other social media platform, but whatever it is, <coughs> Let us get out. <coughs> Let us get out there. No matter what the impediment might be. I've already told the devil that the sinus issue that affects my speaking ability at times will not hinder my praise. So he has a guest coming. I still go and praise God. I still go and open my mouth and say, thus said the Lord. And so tonight, I just want to encourage our hearts to be strong, to be unmovable, to abound 
in the work and the word of God. And I'm sure at the end of the day, you will hear, well done, good and faithful servant. Two words, two words we are working for. Well done. It can be a reality if we apply ourselves to it and just surrender all to the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Minister Bromley, I'm going to ask you again to come in at this time and to just pray a prayer that the body of Christ will catch the spirit or the vision of evangelism so that we can, in the short window of time that we have, we'll go out there and really, really plunder hell in order to populate heaven. Over to you, Minister Bramley, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Let's just Jesus. go to the throne of grace. Ha -ho -shandaya. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we Jesus. thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for mm. soul sweet salvation, sweet Jesus. Uh, thank uh, you, Father, Jesus. Going to the cross and dying and giving up the ghost and going down to hell Hallelujah. and taking the sting out of Hallelujah. desk and rescuing and, and resurrecting out of the grave on the third day with all power Lord Father God we call upon your name tonight Lord God Jesus uh, Father we know who you are God we thank you that Lord you died upon that cross for us because God you are El Shaddai your Lord God Almighty your oh God your God Adonai Lord Father your Jehovah Nisi Jehovah Rapha my God my God our Savior Father we ask you tonight Lord prick those hearts Father who's been sitting on the bench Lord because uh, you said that we must go therefore into the uttermost parts of the world in our Judea Samaria Lord God in our towns and our city and Lord Father to go and get those set those captives free Father and Lord God speak to those people about Jesus Christ Lord Father Lord God give us the boldness uh, Lord God speak to our minds Lord God and let you speak through us when we speak to somebody about Jesus Christ uh, Lord God Almighty Father you said in Romans or uh, uh, 16 1 father because for I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power unto God for those uh, uh, father God who believe Lord God today Lord father we ask you Lord God let you touch uh, somebody's mind that they can go and talk to somebody boldly this week uh, about you Jesus and what they've done in your life and what they've done in their life Lord and how their life turned around Lord father we know Lord God we used to go to the dance hall and smoke our weed and drink our beer lord yes, god. jesus and dance, lord god we know that somebody had to talk to us uh, about jesus lord father and that is why we're here today and lord god we have been multiplied because lord father 12 men you picked lord god before the foundations of the earth oh father and when you talk to them lord God, you started to teach them uh, about the ways that they need to go and save the world. Uh, and Lord God, the 12 men turned the world upside down and they started to multiply themselves, Lord. Uh, they didn't know no PA system. Uh, they didn't need no cell phone, Lord God Almighty. But Lord, uh, you empowered them with the Holy Ghost. Uh, and they went, Lord God, uh, and Father, they went and started to talk to people about Jesus. Uh, Lord God, let me just start to rise up in these times, Lord. Uh, you said in the last days that you pour out your spirit uh, and all flesh, Lord. Uh, and I believe, Lord, God has become easier like never before to talk to people about Jesus. Uh, because, Lord God, people are going through some stuff uh, and they need something, Lord God. Uh, and we know what the antidote is. Uh, we know it's Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, we call upon your name tonight, Lord God. Uh, that, Lord God, that you, you will infuse somebody tonight. Uh, will print their hearts. Uh, and they will say that I will go I will go into the uttermost parts of the world, I will go into the supermarkets, I will go on the street corner, I will save that one souls, because Lord God on that day, you will say well done my good and faithful servant, enter into my joy, enter my rest Lord God Almighty, Father we thank you Lord God for your grace and your mercy that you have brought us through Lord God, Father we ask you today Continue to bless us, cover us, Lord God, with your blood. 
Because, Lord God, you shed that blood on Calvary for us. You raise yourself from the dead, Lord Father, on the third day with all power, Lord God. And we believe, Lord, the same power you've given unto us, Lord, that we can now, we can heal, Lord Father God. Lord God, we can do mighty and greater things that you said that we will do. So, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we ask you, Lord God, that bless us tonight, Lord God. And bless somebody that they'll be infused with the spirit of evangelism, Lord. And go therefore in Jesus' name. Amen. You're, you're on mute. You're on mute. Yes. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for that prayer, uh, Minister Bromley. And, you know... We just want to maybe extend a word to those or somebody who might be online tonight and you have not yet surrendered your heart to the Lord. If you need prayer, you know that if the Lord should come tonight, you would not be ready. Just going to ask you to raise your hands. Just raise your hands wherever you are right now. Just raise your hands. Hallelujah. And say, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. Glory to God, glory to God. Just want to give you an opportunity tonight. You might be backslidden and you're on the platform tonight. You once walked with the Lord, but you're no longer walking with him. Just raise their hand and we will also pray for you. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The song says, don't turn him away. Don't turn him away. Hallelujah. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart. Harden not your heart. Because the Lord is more than willing to grant you his salvation. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You can have eternal life tonight if you but reach out to him. And so we just want to pray that God will speak to the hearts of those who might be on this platform tonight who have not yet surrendered to him to also that he would minister to those who once walked with him, but no longer walking with him. Hallelujah. And even those without the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you know, that's also another concern of mine. Because without the Holy Ghost, you're not going to be able to make it in the rapture. You need that power to make the connection. And so you too need to reach out and ask the Lord to just increase your faith so that you too will be able to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Again, I just want to say thanks to everyone for coming out. And um, we, I know some persons came on tonight because we were supposed to be doing the question and answer segment um, to the series that we have been doing. But you know, God knows everything best. God knows everything best. And so whatever he does, it's well done. So all being well, we will, um, we will have this segment done um, for you. And so we will, again, um, we'll be tuning in next week to have, have that, see, that segment done. So I'm just going to be asking you just to pray much. You know, when the devil sees something good is happening, then he always try to interfere and intervene. But then, you know, he's always a loser. He's always a loser. And so we're just going to pray much also for our, our um, presenter, Bishop Daly, that God will just bless him richly. And so I just want to say thanks to everyone tonight for coming on this platform, Ignite My Fire International Movement. Truly, the Lord has been very good to us and we are grateful to him.
Just want to remind you, as I did last week, um, starting tomorrow, um, between the hours of 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. each evening, that is Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, we will be doing what we call reading the Bible through. We're going to be doing this in our six-month period. And so um, each evening between Tuesday to Saturday, between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m., we are going to be meeting to have um, this, the, the, this reading done. So it promises to be very good. And so we want to invite you to be a part of it. All of you who got the, the invite today to Ignite My Fire International Movement, you will see three links on it now, and another link has been added. I've added the link for the um, prayer platform, the prayer watch platform. So you can go to that link and it's on that um, Zoom platform that we will be doing the Bible reading um, Tuesdays to Saturdays between 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Also, every Wednesday, starting this week, Wednesday, the last hour for each watch, and the watch, um, we have a 24 hour watch going. So, it be first watch is at 6 p.m., then 9 p.m., then 12 midnight, 3 a.m., 6 a.m., 9 a.m. 12 midday, 3 p.m., and it goes back around. So each watch is really for three hours. And the last hour for each watch on a Wednesday, um, we will be allowing for what we call personal prayer time, which we dub pray until you pray. So we recognize the importance of personal prayer <coughs> excuse me and so every Wednesday the last hour of each watch we will allow for you to spend that time in um in the in the in the zoom room um doing your own personal prayer so <coughs> these are just some of the things that we are doing and we are asking that you continue to pray much for us God bless you. Thank you so much again. Thanks to the marshals for ministering to us tonight. And thanks for everyone who shared, those who prayed. God bless you. Thanks to all those who came along and visited with us. We thank you so much for being a part. I'm seeing Galaxy. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, Galaxy Note 10. I'm not seeing the full name, but just want to say thanks to that person too for coming. So at this time, I'm going to ask Pastor Simon just to do the benediction. And after she's finished, the marshals will bring down the curtains in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, Dr. McCarthy. Praise God and all the wonderful men and women of God and the form God bless you all. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. You are truly amazing and wonderful and we give you thanks. Hallelujah. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his throne with exceeding great joy. And to him be glory, honor, majesty, dominion, praise, and power, both now and forevermore. And we say, amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you Thank all. You. We're going to have the marshals, and then you can be feel free after that to say your goodbyes. Okay? But let us have the marshals now in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Praise the, Lord. Praise the Lord. At the end of our journey, we all want to hear those blessed words. Well done. After we have fought the fight, have, after we have kept the faith, we want to hear, well done. Be blessed in the name of the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. <laughs>
working for is two words well done bless the lord bless the lord god bless you all tonight it was so good having you looking forward to having you again next week monday night same place same time ignite my fire international movement god bless you have a wonderful rest of the night thank you so much for coming i'm dr elaine mccarthy and it was my pleasure having you here tonight. God bless you.